Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be updating you about my big brother's big sister match. And this has been going on for a year and a half with my little sister, Michaela. She has brought me so much joy. We've had so many adventures. And I want to update you and tell you about what it's like to be a big sister within the big brother's big sister program. Sort of what we have been navigating for the last year and a half. And what you can expect if you are thinking about becoming a big. We do a lot of things together. We spend a lot of time together. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video. It's been a year and a half since we got matched, and we are still getting along. <laughs> so, we're calling it a success. I think she even kind of likes me a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> hey guys, Hello Bella here. I am with Michaela, my little sister, even though she's like a foot taller than me now. Um, we're going to give you an update one and a half years into our match and we are hanging out it's a sunday and we wanted to do just kind of an update for you guys to kind of tell you how we are and how it's been going and what you can expect if you are joining the big brothers big sister program so we figured we would just ask each other questions and just kind of have like a little interview between the two of us so i'm gonna get started with it um what is something that you like that we have done in the last year and a half like what's one of the best things we've done Mm, we did a lot of stuff this year. I like when we like go on adventures, you know, to go walking <laughs> yeah. and stuff to see like, you know, more in the world that I didn't know, you know, yeah. that I couldn't go to. Like when we went to the creek? Yes. And we almost got washed away. <laughs> did you want to have a little sister? Like, you know? Um, I have never thought about it that much, but like, I guess I felt like I wanted to uh -huh. have someone in my life that I could hang out with more yeah. and like you just kind of we're a perfect fit for that because mm -hmm. like you're not really close to my age because you're 13 and I'm 26 but like we still have a lot in common somehow I guess do you see us going on a trip like because you know we always wanted to go on a trip that's so not yeah. far from here but far from here like an overnight trip yeah yeah I do I know we have to like get it approved with mm -hmm. big brothers big sisters before I can like take you mm -hmm. somewhere I guess um but I thought it would be fun to go to like the zoo or something yeah. or like um even to like a different part of Alabama mm -hmm. because I haven't really toured that much of Alabama in general yeah. so and I want to so bad because it's more stuff out there that we don't know about yeah like there's like a lot of history mm -hmm. here but we don't really see that much of it so yeah. Okay, my question for you is, how do you think, like, having me in your life has affected you? Like, how has it done anything different, or has it changed anything? Yeah, it did change a lot, because I used to, like, you know, stay at home. I was, like, an outgoing person, but I wanted to go, you know, go out. Yeah, you were kind of shy. I'm not, I'm not No, you were shy before, when I we was. first met you, but you didn't know me. Yeah, but, you know, now I know you and stuff. You know, I'm comfortable around Yeah, you. yeah. Because I do a lot of stuff that I don't usually do. Yeah, I feel like we talk about stuff that, like, you would talk about with your real sister. Yeah, but like, I don't do that, though. <laughs> yeah, because you have three sisters. Yeah. But they're all, like, you all have different personalities. Yeah. Is there anything that I've, like, shown you that you didn't know about or anything that, like, um, you kind of are like, oh, this is a thing? I wasn't a good reader at all because I didn't read a lot, but... She helps me, like, you know, understand the words. Because you remember we used to, like, highlight the words that I didn't know. Like, you know, big words that mm -hmm. I didn't pronounce. Uh, I got better at that. I mm -hmm. used to, like, you know, sound them out yeah. word by word but to you, understand. you are, like, you've improved so much, like, mm -hmm. in the last year and a half. Like, not because of me, but because, like, you've just been working on it so mm -hmm. much. But, yeah, we used to study. We would, like, we would, like, read a book. And then, like, whatever words that she didn't know, we would highlight it. Because I'm like, this is how I learned new words. Because, like, you don't know every word. Like, there's yeah. no way you could possibly know so every word. We would, like, highlight it. And we'd, we'd pick, like, ten words. Mm -hmm. And then we would, like, be like, okay, these are the new words that we'll kind of try to figure out the meaning of. Yeah, and we, so. yeah, we had it in, like, a notebook. So, and we, I think we used, I think we looked it up. Yeah, we, like, looked it up on Google. And we wrote it down, the definition. That's what I did in school. Yeah, it really helps, I feel like. Because mm -hmm. if, like, if I'm reading now and I don't know what a word means, mm -hmm. I'll still do that. Like, even now when I'm 26, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> do you think that we're a good match? Like, you think that they did a good job putting us together? Yeah, they did. We still need to know, you know, more about each other. Yeah. But. I feel like we talk more than most big brothers, big sisters probably do. Because yeah. they probably, like, some of them only see each other, like, once a month. Mm -hmm. 
Like my sister. We probably see each other like at least three times a month. Mm -hmm. At least. Like sometimes every week, but sometimes we got stuff going on. Like you yeah. play, she plays sports. I play. Okay, let me tell you my sport. I do cheer. People don't think it's a sport, but I feel That's like it's That's definitely a sport. A sport. Uh, it's a lot of work too. I do cheer, basketball, softball, volleyball. So next Monday, I have workouts, then I have volleyball tryouts, and that's gonna be I rough. I know that. Are you ready? No. Cause I used to play. We need to practice before? I mean, I have a volleyball. I know. I suck, but. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're also pretty active. Like, we're always doing something. Like, yeah. we, we don't like sit around. Like, sometimes we'll watch movies. Yeah, but we'll get bored of watching it, and yeah. we'll do something else. So. Yeah, I feel like more often than not, we're out doing something, like, active. Yeah, and we all go walking all the time. We'll go in this little, what's it called? T or Divert Park? Yeah. We go to that park a lot. And we did go to one of the events that Big Brothers Big Sisters had for us. Mm -hmm. um, so they had, like, a thing at the jumping place, like the trampoline place. I think we went, like, went to one event. Yeah, we went to that. And well, did we go to something else? We were supposed to go to the 17th one. Like, the fishing? Yeah. It was we, too early. Yeah. I hope we wake up at nine something to no, go. That mean? It was it was too early. My my sister went to the you know the little park one. Oh, she did. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah, she was like, I know y'all supposed to go. I was like, <laughs> oh. Oh well. Well, we do our own stuff. Yeah. If we weren't doing something, I would say yeah. But we already got we had our own plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you like having me as a little sister? Um. Yeah, I love having you as a little sister. I feel like I never would have thought. Like, I would get a sister because, like, so late in life, like, mm -hmm. I mean, I was, I'm going to be 27 this year. So, I'm like, you don't think that someone could, like, come into your life, I guess, mm -hmm. that late? Because you're like, okay, everything, all my family's already set in stone. Like, you don't really get new family unless you get married. Yeah. Um. So, it's cool to have, like, someone that you can be, like, thinking about and caring about that you never even, you probably would have never crossed paths with before. Mm-hmm. Just because of like we don't live in the same town, we don't we're not the same age, mm -hmm. you know. So and that's kind of weird too, though, because we're not the same age. But I mean, it's big brother, big sister. Yeah, it's not little sister, it's little not, sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, like you're a lot of bigs are a lot older than me. Mm -hmm. So, but you can be a big if you're older, yeah. and you can be a big if you have like your own family like if you're a husband and wife um they just match you differently mm -hmm. i feel like those fam they get matched a lot with younger kids mm -hmm. where like with me i don't think they wanted to do that like when i they asked me like what i wanted and i was like i don't want a little kid like mm -hmm. i want somebody that i can take to go do stuff with me that they you know like mm -hmm. will enjoy it together so Okay, we are in the car because we had to leave because someone sketchy was asking for my phone and it was very strange, so we just got out of there. One and a half years. What do you think about me so far? You're a cool person. I, um, you're a nice person. I mean, sometimes she can be mean. <laughs> How am I mean? I said sometimes. You can be a little rude. Sorry. A little rude. And you aren't a little rude sometimes? No. We both get in a mood. Yeah, we do. Sometimes we, we both get in a mood yeah but i um, feel like that's probably what real sisters do to each other yeah i mean we don't get you know rude to we each don't really other. get snappy but we do mess with each other sometimes yeah. like we'll say stuff and we're like eh. <laughs> okay we're gonna edit that out okay you are like <clears throat> you like a business person that's what i like about you you're a successful woman yeah like i have my own house yeah you have your own business yeah single forever <laughs> don't say single forever because you don't know you might find somebody that's true that's true maybe yeah maybe he probably doesn't live in here north alabama yes exactly i need somebody mm -mm. we don't have like a lot to choose from has your opinion of me changed since we first met like what was your first impression of me you was really quiet a little bit yeah you was quiet but then when we got to know each other better we opened up to each other yeah i feel like the first six months we weren't like well we weren't trying to be polite yeah. more like we're not that we're not now but like we say stuff now that like because you know someone better you can yeah. say what you feel you don't have to like always tiptoe around yeah. everything plus i just feel like we both know more about each other's personal life mm -hmm. like before i didn't really know that much about you you didn't know that much about me but now we know like we have a lot in common. Yeah, our, we have a lot in common with, with our, our dads, dads and our moms and, yeah. <laughs> you know, just stuff that happens to 
us in life that we can both relate to that yeah. I feel like it makes for a good relationship for us because we are like I can tell her about my problems and she doesn't act like it's a big deal she yeah. doesn't act like it's like some crazy thing mm -hmm. and sometimes I give her advice and she give me advice and we think the same guys are hot <laughs> yeah. I just met this boy in the park I mean I didn't meet him but you know I seen him in the park with a little dog and I was like but we can just go over there we know. always are trying to figure out like is he age appropriate for me or is he age appropriate for, for Michaela? <laughs> Oh, and you met my mom this in the last year. Yeah. What'd you think of my mom? <laughs> she a nice person. I was like quiet, you know, towards her mom. I wouldn't yeah, really talk you to were, her. Yeah, you were really quiet. But I was like, oh, she's having a good time. She just doesn't know you that well. Mm -hmm. So my mom was like, did she have fun? I'm like, yeah, she had fun. But I got to get to know your mom better. Because yeah. I only met her like two times, you know? Yeah. Well, she lives far away. Yeah. So. All right. Anything that you want to say when we wrap up? Or like, do you think if people are thinking about doing big brothers, big sisters, do you have like any advice for them? Don't be mean towards your, like when you first meet them, don't be like rude, like, you know, disrespectful. Don't ask for stuff all the time. I mean, I don't, I don't ask for nothing. Yeah. But don't be asked for nothing. I'm just saying that. Just don't. To the little. Yeah. Right? Well, mm. some people, um, some kids don't understand. Yeah. Like, when they're little, they don't understand. Yeah. But, yeah, you're saying, like, don't be, like, greedy or mm -hmm. whatever. And stay in school, kids. Stay in school, because we just had a nightmare experience at Jack's trying to get something to eat. Mm. Everyone in the kitchen was arguing, and, like, we couldn't even get food. We just left, so... But my final thoughts for, like, Big Brothers Big Sisters is, like, I, th I think that it made a big difference in my life. I feel like I was lonely a lot of the time, yeah. and I didn't really have that much going on. Like, I would want to go do stuff, but I don't have mm -hmm. anyone to do it with. So now I have, like, someone to do stuff with. Yeah. And, like, I have someone that I can text if I want to text someone and be like, hey, you know, like, what's going on? Or did you see this? Or Yeah. I also feel like if you're older and you want to be a big, like, just kind of know that, your little is like counting on you. Mm -hmm. You can't just drop off the face of the earth. Yeah. They want people who want to do it like wholeheartedly, not mm -hmm. like halfway. So they yeah. want they want you to be like commit to one year mm -hmm. at least. <laughs> all right, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll probably do an update video for our two year, but this is our one and a half year, Yay. and I'm really thankful to have you in my life. Me Thank too. you very very much <laughs> for for being my little sister. You're welcome. All right, bye guys.